think there are just so many areas in which we still need to see change. We have so far still to go. But one particular area for me that I think can't change quickly enough, and without change in this area, I don't think we can move forward, is the way in which our society treats victims of sexual violence. And I mean this in a quite broad sense. So first of all, in terms of our criminal justice system, which all too often fails survivors, whether they perhaps don't even make it to having a case in the first place because it's considered not a strong enough case, whether they have a terrible experience when they're going through the courts, um, whether as in one recent case, for example, their past sexual history is brought up and used against them in a case, um, but also in terms of the way that the media treats them, in terms of the fact that still in 2017, in 2016, we've been seeing these stories in the press where we're still hearing about what a victim was wearing or what she did to bring it on herself or what was she doing there or why had she been drinking or what she had she, she, she done in the past. It's absolutely absurd that we're still seeing stories where somebody has been killed by their partner and instead of it being treated as a crime, we're hearing about what a wonderful father he was and what a great neighbour he seemed and how shocking it is because he was such a lovely man. The way that we treat victims of violence when they happen to be women and they happen to be victims of male violence is still absolutely shocking. Every year the British Attitude Survey comes out and every year the statistics stay the same. We know that around a third of people in the UK still believe that a woman is fully or partly to blame for being raped if she'd been drinking. That around a quarter of people think that it's fully or partly her fault if she'd been um, flirting beforehand. It's just absolutely um, beggar's belief really that we still have these kinds of attitudes and for me that's where I'd really like to see a shift take place.